beautiful Monday morning. What's going on, TQ? Hi, I'm driving. She's got to stay focused over there. The so you guys get to stare at my pretty face <laughs> instead of TQ's this morning. I forgot my phone book. She forgot her phone book. <laughs> Anyways, guys, it's uh, beautiful here in the state of Ohio as of now. It's about eh, 55 degrees, but that is all about to change in the next 24 to 36 hours, guys. Whoa. Literally this morning, watching the weather they're calling for two to four inches in our area i messaged snow, a few snow not rain savannah i didn't want to say the word okay <laughs> i didn't want to say the word i'm you just... sorry i had to put it out there <laughs> guys we're three quarters of the way through april here now and they're calling for two to four inches of snow so any of you guys and gals that are in our areas or the areas that are going to get affected michigan's going to get hit indiana i believe Illinois possibly uh, are you guys throwing the plows back on because I'm kind of like at the point where our contracts are still good but it's like it's warm and it's gonna melt off really really quick That's so what I'm they, a, said. they said it's gonna melt off really really quick yeah I'm assuming within a day it's gonna be gone so you guys let us know in the comments are you gonna plow it you gonna shovel it salt it what are you guys gonna do I'm not really anticipating anything freezing, so it's kind of like, eh. Is that one yours or is that one mine? 
They're all mine, TQ. <laughs> all fueled up today, boys. Yeah. No running out of gas. So TQ was mowing back here and she felt something clicking and here there's a big chunk of metal stuck in the tires. Plan stopped after three different places. Yeah, all the gas stations are sold out. Yeah, don't go to gas stations <laughs> right now. Supposedly they claim they can't get them. So we came here to advance real quick and uh, grabbed his tire plug kit. But first we're gonna figure out if it's gonna leak or not, which I believe it is. Oh yeah. So, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go ahead and plug it up. So I put an Instagram post up earlier while I was waiting on TQ to blow off. And I said, uh, you guys know we have the Tractus tires with the X mark. And yes, they are a bit more expensive, you know, six, seven hundred bucks. But we typically, you know, we're two weeks into the season here now. First flat here, guys. So we typically, we were talking, me and TQ, and we were like, you know, four to six flats a year is on average. So, uh, you guys don't know, you gotta round it out with this bad boy real quick. Might have to let some more air out of it, honestly. But, <clears throat> four to six flats a year, you know, is a lot of downtime like right here we've wasted now almost an hour so basically there's just a lot of pressure in there it's not allowing me to push into the tire so i'm just going to let it down a little bit i should be able to get it going now <laughs> Now it's leaking. <laughs> I hate patching sidewalls too, guys. Like these are, it'll work, but they're very iffy. So you want to smash it down for some of you. I know most of you probably know. I've never done this myself either, so I'm learning too. You just got to get it through there. It's going to be tough sometimes. Pull it till it's about right in the middle. It's about good. Then they come with this glue. Some people say this is hotty, hotly debated whether you need it or not. Just pop it with the top of the lid. Just put a little bit on there. Woohoo! Normally most tires are flat at this point. I like to put a little bit on here as well. Some 
old school folks but like, you don't need that glue now we're just gonna push it in nice and slow it's about right there or get back out <sighs> all right so now we're gonna let that do its thing I'm gonna let it dry for a minute and uh we're gonna go across the street to that gas station that we were just at <laughs> yeah and uh fill her back up with air and make sure it's gonna hold for us so and then uh when i get home later i'll snip that excess off some people don't everybody's got their own way of doing things but long story short don't run this stuff over it gives you flat tires so I get home to check it later. This one's not working. I think it was just on the ground when we got here. Let me fix it for real quick. Lazy people. <laughs> so what i was saying guys is you know the 600 dollars, 700 dollars, whatever an airless tire is you know what's it worth to you because you know we have four to six breakdowns a year for flat tires and then you know a tractus tire you know an airless tire uh twill whatever you, whatever one you want to buy you know they're going to last you a good solid two to three years to tread on them before they wear out so if you have say eight, 10 to 12 breakdowns, I know some people have a lot more uh, just with things they mow. We don't tend to have a lot more than that. Typically one a month is on average for us. Uh, so what is that time worth to you and your business for that half an hour? Now I could have saved time here if I had the tire plug kit in here that I thought I did. Uh, so that now we have another one in here, which I don't know. The only thing I can think of is I took it out to uh, I know what it was, I plugged Tisha's tire. Oh, that's right. My niece Tisha got a flat tire and I took it out of the truck and used it on her car a couple months ago and over the winter time and yeah, never put it back. So that cost me time. So yeah, I mean, you guys drop in the comments what you think. I put it up on Instagram a while ago. You know, what is, you know, your time worth for those multiple breakdowns? Is it worth the expense of a twill, uh, you know, an airless tire, you know, I personally am starting to think 100% absolutely. I mean, it's it's just, you don't have to worry about breaking down with flats, you know, stupid little things like this. It's now set us back almost an hour. I mean, literally almost an hour. So drop a comment, guys. So a very productive day, even though we had about an hour setback, like I've already mentioned in this video, we got the plug taken care of. It is holding as of now. I'm actually going to go snip it off in just one second, but we mowed two more after that one whenever that happened and uh, it held just fine. So sometimes on those sidewalls, it can be a little tricky, you know, up top, it's not so much because the traction hides it a little bit. So uh, we'll see how it holds up. If not, we got four more plugs in that, that kit, I believe it is. But uh, yeah, guys, hope you enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel if you enjoy lawn care, landscaping, husband and wife team, and uh, yeah, just all that fun stuff, snow removal, all that good stuff. But uh, yeah, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. As always, keep mowing, keep growing, keep making money, boys. We'll talk to you later. TQ out. Peace. Bye.